Hi there, my name is Bruno Batucci. I'm married to Kylie Batucci and Kylie is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. If you follow our channel, you might have seen a video that we shot earlier this morning. We created a, a project live and during the video, Kylie mentioned that I had purchased a new set of Stampin' Up! products, uh, supplies, for my craft room in the other room. Usually I craft in here along with Kylie, but I've got a new workspace in there, which I'll show you one day. But Kylie was asking some of the things that I uh, purchased for my new stash of craft supplies. And so I was going to tell you what they were, but why don't I show you what I bought them? And this might help some of you if you're new at um, purchasing craft supplies, some of the things that you think you might need also uh, to get your crafting journey started. So let's have a look at my stash. Okay, so first thing I got was of course some Tombow. This is a staple and uh, there are lots in this room. <laughs> uh, it's a bit close up. So yeah, there are lots of those in this room. So I don't think we'll ever miss out on that. Speaking of adhesives, I got... Now, Kylie isn't, doesn't really use Stampin' Steel and Stampin' Steel Plus much uh, in her crafting. So I... Um, I have these. Let me just get this into a better shot. Sorry about that. So yes, I purchased five of each of these. The actual holder I have already in the other room, so I didn't buy a new one of those. So um, this is a must have uh, for new crafters. The other thing I bought was some tear and tape. Uh, this is something that I think is very important for lots of different crafting. And sometimes tear and tape is the only thing that will make it stick. Of course I bought some Stampin' Dimensionals but I also bought some foam adhesive sheets. Now lately in my crafting I've been using this quite a bit. Um, of course I use Dimensionals still but sometimes with uh, the type of crafting that I'm doing at the moment only foam adhesive sheets will do so that will be something very good for a new crafter. So I'm pretty sure that's all the adhesives uh, that uh, I would recommend that you get. Okay, now in terms of some tools to get, I got two of these. Um, there's quite a few just over here, <laughs> but I got some nice new clean ones and in fact the logo looks slightly different to the other ones that uh, we've got. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to have bought these. These really do work when it comes to uh, burnishing the edges of a, um, a card base or, or burnishing anything. So I would definitely recommend that you get a bone folder or two. I got this. This is a take your pick tool. As you can see, I haven't opened any of these things. Uh, my desk isn't quite there yet, so I'm hoping to um, unbox all of these things um, when I have my new desk, but I will show uh, what's in this box. So this is the tool that it comes with. It's got all these different edges and they're all um, interchangeable. I will probably Um, so this is a sticky end and it has another refill um, here, which is really good. And this other end that comes with it, this can be interchangeable with this end. And this end here is like a, a palette knife where you can get under things, like if you're lifting something sticky. And you, if you want, you would prefer, you can interchange it for these um, scoring things. So 
I'm not sure which one of those I will have in there permanently. I might buy another one of these so that I can always have um, one of these that Kylie has. Actually, in that box somewhere, um, I bought one of these as well, one of these attachments. So that is the Take Your Pick tool. And that's something I would definitely recommend. I bought two of these. These are Simply Chamois. And I'm going to get, in fact, I'm going to grab it right now before I forget. This is a stamp case. And I found that this is really helpful if this lives in here. I might cut this into um, three strips uh, because I found that it's a lot easier to use that way. This is just so easy. Once you've stamped something, you just put it in there, uh, stamp it on directly onto here, and it, it washes, it basically cleans the ink off. I love it. It gets filthy, but that's okay. Simply shimmy. I also got a silicon craft sheet. Now this is excellent if you're using adhesive and you don't want to get all over the table like we have so much. Um, you can just use it and nothing sticks to it. Um, it's excellent. So that's the silicon craft sheet, the Simply Shammy. I also got a stamp and pierce mat. Now this is really good when it comes to when you're stamping on um, using photopolymer stamps. Um, it's really good to have this sort of soft background um, so that the stamp uh, works. It, it works still on the hard background but it works even better on a softer background. This type of um, softness is automatically um, in the rubber stamps because it has the, the base uh, but this is really helpful when it comes to uh, using photopolymer stamps. So those three things are excellent, or four, five things. So we've got the Take Your Pick tool, the Bone Folder, Silicon Craft Sheet, Stamp and Pierce Mat, and the Simply Chamois. You can also purchase these. Uh, these are um, stamp cases, and they come in a set of, I forget how many, but these are all available from our online store. Let's put those aside. Now, something that I would 100% recommend is the Stamparatus. This is so good, so, so good. I'm gonna open it because I love it and I wanna show you. So this is what, uh, there's, course instruction book I don't think I've ever seen one of these so you can read all of that to, sh to see how it works it's excellent it comes with two of these arms it comes with a, a little mat and this is helpful for when you're stamping using um, photopolymer stamps uh, just it has that give that I was talking about. There's a um, measurement thing. <laughs> and so the way that this works is that these arms fit in like that and you can apply the stamps uh, to the arms and just stamp like that. It's excellent when it comes to repetitive stamping. It's excellent when it comes to lining things up. It's fantastic. So it comes with two arms, it comes with this pad. I would 100% recommend this if you're a new stamper and you're not sure what to get. Stamparatus is something that you definitely should get. Now with that, um, actually let me just get all these boxes out of the way. It comes with this little pad, uh, but I am one that, this pad is also useful um, just for general, um, general padding <laughs> for any, any projects that 
require it. Uh, but some people really prefer to be able to see these measurements here. And so separately, you can purchase a Stemperatus Deluxe Foam Mat, and it, this is metric. This comes, it has both of the uh, measurements. It has inches across the bottom and then um, a grid of centimeters here. Uh, but some people find that when you're using this, it would be helpful to have the lines to, to mark up, uh, to measure things up. So you can purchase this separately and it's basically the same, um, the same grid and the same measurements, uh, but it's, it has the padding on the back of it. So this is something that's really helpful, particularly when you're, um, you're stamping using photopolymer stamps. So yes, I would, re whoops, sorry about that. I would recommend purchasing the Stamparatus as well as this deluxe foam mat. Uh, that's good for stamping using photopolymer stamps. Now, the other thing that I purchased, this is still in the box again, it's a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Um, again, I won't take this out of the box, but I have one that Kylie has here on her shelf permanently. And this is great. If you are a new stamper, this is what you're going to want to need. A lot of the stamp, the dies that Stampin' Up! produce can fit in these. Some of them don't, some of them are a bit bigger, but for a beginner crafter, uh, this is something that you are going to want to invest in. It's so helpful, it's convenient to just grab out and it doesn't take a lot of space. In fact, uh, for those that would, are interested in how big it is, it's uh, four and a quarter inches wide by seven inches, or if you're in metric, it's 17 centimeters by 11 centimeters, and of course there's the arm. So if you're putting it on the shelf, it's basically, you know, three books wide. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's quite a compact, um, you can put it on the shelf, you can have it on the desk in the corner and you're going to love it. So, as I said, the box is quite large. In fact, uh, let me show you. Oh, there's some more things that I purchased. Sorry about that. I got um, two of this size block and two of this size block. Uh, I found that these are the ones that I, I tend to reach for um, all the time. When I'm not stamping with the Stamparatus, these are the ones that I usually uh, reach for. Even though um, some of the other sizes are probably more appropriate for the stamps that I'm using, these are the two that I use all the time. So uh, I've got two of these and two of these. So I think that's all that I purchased um, when I was setting up. Let me just have another quick look in here. I've got a few other things that um, I wanted to, and if this gives you an indication of how much I spent, <laughs> I got this one as well. Oh, for our for this craft room, I got a couple more um, cutting plates, packs of cutting plates, because uh, that's for this craft room in here. Let me just have another look quickly. This is how much I've been using them. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure that's it. So hopefully uh, that's been helpful to you. Uh, these are the things that I thought I needed. I'm sure there's some things that I forgot, um, but I'll get them eventually. If you can. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's helpful. If you live in Australia and you would like any help with purchasing any of these, or if you have any other suggestions that you think you might uh, new crafters might need, we'd love to hear them down in the comments, so please leave them there. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later.